the weirdest thing ever that I've ever done in my whole entire life ever. Um, kind of feels like I'm talking to myself, obviously I am. Um, where do you start? This thing happened, I guess. Um, So weird. Do I say it out loud that it's gonna make it more real or something? But, <clears throat> but you know what? It's three thirty in the morning, and I cannot sleep. And I, uh, and I told my daughter. I have a seventeen-year-old daughter, and I told her that I was gonna start a vlog, and she's like, "No, you are not cool enough. You're not cool enough." And I told my friends, I think I'm gonna do a vlog about about my story, about my cancer journey, count about my I don't know everything, because apparently my life I feel like is way more exciting than anybody else's. Um. Anyways, when I told my friends, they're like, "That's a vlog." Uh, so here I am, three twenty-two in the morning and um, I don't even have pants on. You don't know that though. I mean, now you do, cause I just told you, but you didn't. So I don't really know how this is gonna go, but I think we can do this. I think I think we can figure this out. Um, I have stage four lymphoma and um, I found out today from uh, my doctor, actually technically yesterday since the new day, um, I'm going to start chemotherapy and immunotherapy on Wednesday. Today's Tuesday now. <laughs> um, but I don't want, um, I don't want this to be about that. I want this to be about living and about life and not my dogs. <laughs> it's so loud. I don't know what this is about. I don't know what I'm doing. But I feel like I should be doing it. So I'm gonna figure out how, I guess. So, <clears throat> so a little bit about me. I'm 37. I have two super amazing children, um, both daughters, 15 and nearly, nearly 18. A couple more days should be 18. Um, I have three dogs, two cats. That's a lot. I um, have stage four lymphoma. I. Um, I'm not very happy about that. I lost my dad in July to prostate cancer. It's January. Um, I don't know. This year's been a little, little, little rough. Uh, lost my job, my job right before Christmas right at the same time as my diagnosis, which was super amazing. I um, worked for a company that I loved. And, um, I don't know. I guess he wasn't uh, super thrilled about my diagnosis. I don't know, but um, not, not cool. Um, I have amazing friends. And a brother and a sister and well three brothers I guess and a sister. <laughs> um, I don't know. I um, I'm scared. I don't. I don't look good on a camera at three in the morning. <laughs> Um, yeah, my dogs are 
are so annoying. <laughs> you should probably see her. Hold on. Susan. Come say hello. Susan Tucker. Come say hello. Oh, hello. This is Susan. Susan is my uh, puppy. She is a super adorable and loves to give kisses. She is half massive and half hound dog and three months old. <laughs> Ginormous. Um, she's my baby. She's my baby. I got her right after my dad passed at um, a charity auction for a super amazing friend of mine. It, Susan happened after a couple too many glasses of wine. <laughs> ah, but I love her. Super love her. <laughs> but she is kind of a pain in the ass sometimes. So probably shouldn't say that. Pain in the butt. Pain in the butt sometimes. But anyways, she's She's fun. It's one of them. She's ginormous and clumsy and hyper and all of those puppy things. So, anyways, I don't really have much to say today, but I couldn't sleep, so I wanted to start this, and uh, I guess we'll just see how it goes. I'm probably gonna... Well, I am, I am getting a ride to my first appointment tomorrow. I can't believe it's tomorrow, so weird. Um, tomorrow, so I will do two days in a row, Wednesday and Thursday, and try to find a job. I actually have interviewed with the place twice. I haven't told them about my diagnosis yet, which I feel awful about. I feel like I should tell them and I want to tell them. It's just hard. How do you, how do you, say, oh, by the way, um, you know, this thing happened where I got cancer. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I'm supposed to meet with them Thursday after my second day of chemo. So I'm hoping I don't feel like crap, but if I do at least I have a good story for it, not like I'm hungover or something so so I gotta figure that out but get through it um, I don't know it's gonna be crazy it's gonna be super crazy but oh well I'll figure it out So this is take two at my um, first little vlogging experience. Uh, nobody should ever attempt to do that at three in the morning. It was a super bad idea. It's like, uh, it's just like one of those things you should never do, like drunk texting. Like there should just be some apparatus that just keeps you from being able to be dumb. Um, but uh, anyways, it was a little crazy. So, um, Tomorrow's my first day of chemo. A little, little nervous. I got a lot going through my through my brain, but um, I'm all ready. Got my little, my little uh, awkwardly placed um, unit here to collect all of the yumminess they're going to spill into my body tomorrow. So uh, ready for that, but uh, ready, I guess, as anyone can ever be for that. But. Uh, Anyways, I just wanted to take a second and um, really thank all of my family and my friends. And it's been so crazy. Like, I don't feel like I'm a super needy person. Like, sometimes I need things because I'm a girl. But um, mostly I'm, I'm, I'm pretty good. I can, you know, do stuff by myself. But um, this has been pretty overwhelming. And... Um, People that I haven't known for very long are doing amazing things for me. And it is, that's, that's super over, like, over the top. Like, everybody always says, oh, yeah, if you need anything. But, like, these people are actually doing things that I'm not even asking for. Um, 
I mean, like last night, they all work and um, they all came down and had drinks with me and um, it it was nice. <laughs> I know that's really dumb, but um, I didn't want to be alone. And these people who have mostly just met this summer um, all came down and hugged me and supported me and um, offered me rides and to clean my house and to make me food and to all <laughs> these things. And it's amazing. And I have this other friend, Sherry, who literally... Oh, I don't know what I would do without her. She's so amazing. She's coming with me tomorrow. Um, so so that's good. She's making me snacks. If I want to eat, she's bringing them. And we're going to crochet cute little blankets and, you know, hang out and <laughs> get some chemo all day tomorrow and, and the next day. So, um, so she's, she's amazing. She takes care of me and and um, treats me and my kids like her kids. And it's so amazing. So anyways, I just wanted to say, I don't know, um, you know, uh, the person that I would go to, the person that I want to go to, the person I want to call is my dad. And of course, he's been gone for six months now. So um, it's still hard. Still got his number programmed in my favorites. Still got like 8,000 voicemails and text messages on my phone from him. <laughs> um, so those are not helpful. But um, but uh, these people are, are amazing. And so, oh, 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 and look at what they gave me yesterday. So at my doctor appointment, there's these people. Um, I got this cute little care package from these folks. It's so awesome. So Lemons of Love Northwest, this whole bag. It's humongous. Hold on. Let me grab it. This whole bag full of like food and yumminess and tissues because I'm sure I'm going to cry and some water and a water bottle and socks and hand sanitizer and literally yeah, everything. It's so amazing. And they make these little bags and, and, uh, um, and but this is the most specialist thing ever, is this, how cute is that? Whoever eight-year-old Micaiah is, I love you. And <laughs> I want you to be my pen pal. I don't know where you are. I assume you're here around <laughs> somewhere, but oh my God, that's so amazing. I almost cried when I opened that up. I just think that. Um, these people who think of things like this are just so amazing. Like our hearts are so big and it is, um, it's needed. Like as much as I don't like to ask for help because I really hate asking for help. I probably still haven't asked for help. <laughs> people are just giving it to me, but I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I, I just want to give everything I have to these people and help them make other people feel like, um, I don't know, like they have a little, a cute little guy, <laughs> a cute little guy like this who, who took the time out of their little first grade day to draw me a beautiful picture. And um, that's, I don't know, who thinks of these things? I don't know, but I, I, I am going to support them <laughs> and, um, and do whatever I can to get back to them because they don't have to do stuff like that. It's super amazing. So anyways, enough of all of that. I just um, am appreciative of everything and everyone. My doctor even is super amazing and so cute. He's the cutest guy ever. So, um, <clears throat> so tomorrow's going to be exciting, I guess, as far as, you know, stuff like that goes. And um, I will update you. And uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes. So, anyways, thank you for watching. See you. Bye. Sing us a song tonight. <laughs> <laughs> We're all in the mood for 